Welcome to our exploration of the captivating world of refraction in light physics. Imagine a beam of sunlight hitting a calm pond as the light travels from the airy expanse above into the water. Something fascinating occurs. It bends. This bending of light as it passes from one medium, like air, into another, such as water, is what we call refraction. Refraction happens because light travels at different speeds in different mediums. In air, light zips along swiftly, but once it hits the water, it slows down. This change in speed causes the light to change direction, creating the bending effect we observe. To see this in action, think about a straw in a glass of water. Part of the straw above the water aligns differently from the part submerged. The straw appears bent, not because it actually is, but because the light from the submerged part bends as it moves from water to air. Now that we've seen how light bends, let's dive deeper into why this happens. Ever wondered why light bends at all? Welcome to the captivating world of refraction in light physics. Let's dive into the intriguing reasons behind this phenomenon. Refraction occurs when light travels from one medium to another, such as from air to water or from air to glass. Imagine light as a group of travellers walking along a path. When these travellers hit a different terrain, like moving from a concrete path to a sandy beach, their speed changes. Similarly, light waves change speed when they pass from one medium to another, causing the light to bend. This speed change is due to the varying densities of the mediums. Light travels at different speeds in different materials. For instance, it moves fastest in air, a bit slower in water and even slower in glass. The fundamental rule here is that light will bend towards the normal line, an imaginary line perpendicular to the surface, when it slows down and away from the normal when it speeds up. Now, consider a light wave. Light behaves like a wave and its speed depends on the medium it travels through. This wave-like behavior is crucial because it affects how light interacts with materials at a microscopic level. When light enters a denser medium, it not only slows down, but also changes direction due to the alteration in wave speed at different points across the wavefront. With these basics in place, let's put this knowledge into a mathematical perspective with Snell's law. Now, let's delve into the mathematics behind refraction with Snell's law. This fundamental principle helps us understand exactly how and why light bends when it travels from one medium into another. Snell's law states that the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is a constant. This constant is known as the refractive index. In simpler terms, this law gives us a way to calculate the change in the light's direction as it passes between different materials. Let's consider air and water. Air has a refractive index of approximately 1 because light travels in air almost as fast as it does in a vacuum. Water, however, has a higher refractive index, about 1.33. This difference in indices is what causes light to bend when it enters water. To see Snell's law in action, imagine a light ray striking water at a 45 degree angle. Using Snell's law, we can calculate the angle at which the light will bend. First, we find the ratio of the sine of the incident angle to the refractive index of water. Then, using the inverse sine function, we determine the refracted angle. Through this method, we find that the light in water bends to an angle significantly less than 45 degrees, demonstrating how Snell's law guides the path of light between mediums. Understanding Snell's law helps us predict how light behaves in different environments, a crucial step in exploring its practical applications. Scene script. Have you noticed how a straw in water looks broken? That's refraction at play. Let's dive deeper. Imagine a simple pencil, partially submerged in a glass of water. From above, it seems to take a sharp bend at the water's surface. This visual trickery isn't magic, it's physics. As light travels from air into water, it slows down and changes direction due to the differing densities of air and water. This bending of light, or refraction, creates the illusion of the bent pencil. But refraction doesn't stop at tricking our eyes with bent pencils and disjointed straws. It's also why objects underwater often appear closer than they really are. When you look at a fish in a pond, the light reflecting off the fish bends as it exits the water, making the fish seem nearer to the surface than it actually is. These everyday examples are just the tip of the iceberg. Let's explore how refraction shapes technology and nature. 
Refraction isn't just a cool science fact, it's essential in technology and nature. Let's start with something many of us use every day, lenses. Whether in cameras or eyeglasses, lenses are a fundamental application of refraction. The principle here is simple yet profound. Lenses manipulate the path of incoming light by bending it. This bending, or refraction, allows lenses to focus light precisely, forming clear images on either a camera sensor or the retina of an eye. In eyeglasses, specifically, lenses correct vision by adjusting the focal point, compensating for the imperfections in the eye's own lens. Moving to a more modern application, consider fibre optics, the backbone of high-speed internet. Here, light signals are transmitted through thin strands of glass or plastic. Fibre optics utilise a principle known as total internal reflection, a close cousin of refraction, where light bounces completely within the medium, effectively trapping it. This allows data to travel vast distances at the speed of light, quite literally illuminating our modern digital world. And then, there's nature's own spectacular display, mirages. A mirage occurs when light refracts due to temperature gradients in the air, typically on hot days over roads or deserts. This bending of light creates the illusion of water or shimmering images on the horizon, a fascinating natural trick of the light. As we can see, refraction is pivotal in many aspects of our lives and the natural world. In just 10 minutes, we've uncovered the secrets of refraction, from its basic principles to its real-world implications. We began by diving into the basics of refraction, understanding how light bends when it transitions from one medium to another, such as air into water or through a glass prism. This bending, or refraction, occurs because light travels at different speeds in different substances. We then explored Snell's law, which mathematically describes the relationship between the angles of incidence and refraction and the indices of refraction of the different media. This law helps us predict how light will behave when it passes from one medium into another. Our journey also took us through everyday phenomena like the seemingly bent pencil in water and the disjointed appearance of a straw in a glass, demonstrating refraction in simple, relatable terms. Additionally, we looked at how refraction is foundational in technologies such as lenses in eyeglasses and cameras and in natural phenomena like mirages. Keep exploring the world of physics and remember the wonders of refraction are all around us. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mesmerizing world of refraction. As we part ways, take a moment to observe the subtle magic of light in your daily life. Notice the bending of rays through your morning cup of coffee or the vibrant hues dispersing from a prism on a sunny day. Let curiosity lead you deeper into the fascinating world of physics, where every phenomenon is a doorway to new knowledge and discovery. Until next time, keep shining bright.